Hello everyone, welcome to Addy Sat Gaming Time. Today we have some stuff to talk about, including some important stuff I want about Battlefront 2. Half, half news, half just my opinions. That I did film something a couple of days ago, but I just decided just you know put it in here because I realised it was stupid and blah blah blah. Here's the intro. So I want just a quick reminder that next week on Tuesday we will be getting the squad system update, something that many people have been waiting for for so long, and including Wolfpack stuff, and a bit of other game improvements like always, and bug fixes like always. Anyway, but not just Battlefront 2, but a little bit of a message that I also want to say personally for myself, that when it comes to complaints and fixing, you can't fix dying and keep dying, keep dying and keep dying as of not being good at the game. The developers can't do that. So if you're complaining about hey you need to nerf um, I don't know, you need to nerf the assault class because when I play as Luke Skywalker it keeps killing me. No, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. That basically means that one, you're either picking the wrong gun and you're picking the wrong class for that or two, you're not good at it. You can kill literally anyone in Battlefront 2. It's just it's gonna take a couple of tries or you could do it in one hit. After all, experienced player here, I have killed many Jedi on the battlefront in my time. So please, when you're complaining, try and separate it. They wanna fix bugs, they wanna fix not balancing issues, but they want to fix stuff that's actually wrong with the game. Not stuff that has to do with, oh, I'm not good about it, or this, that. That has something to do about it. So please, just think before you speak when you're airing your complaints, because sometimes it may get through and it may ruin it. We have a bit of an update on Baldi's Basics. Now the, now the game is officially coming on mobile, and he is in the current development of it to make it a bit more good. Uh, now, what's going to be happening to those bootleg ones? I don't know what's going to be happening with them. He says he doesn't know. He wants to take some sort of action, but look, we're just going to have to see. And I guess if they go, they just go, they do. Uh, the only one that I do like, though, is the Unwill one. Thank God it's not on the App Store, because if it was, then it would get destroyed. But the Unwill one, the graphics look good and they have a bit more of an unwill feeling to it so that one is the only one that I think should stay up forever um, now um, also I just want to say that he doesn't have any plans he does not have any plans for this game uh, to come out to like for instance the switch but he wants to put the full game to the switch I don't think there'll be any copyright issues or any of that. I know it costs a bit of dollar dollar for that to happen, but I guess that's why I did the Kickstarter. So yeah, so those all of the updates I've got on Baldi's Basics. If I missed anything, then let me know so I can cover it next Friday. Uh, so I don't usually report on this stuff, but considering it's PlayStation, and something I might buy, the PlayStation 1, or they're calling it PlayStation Classic, is going to be a thing that's coming on the 3rd of December 2018. Now, this will have pre-loaded 20 games, it will. No sign of Crash Bandicoot, unfortunately, but it'll be interesting to see how it works. So, Spider-Man PlayStation 4, I first of all, uh, not just the Caboose channel, but there's another channel I found that do regular updates on the game, and I will leave that channel down below. But one of the things I want to say is that... Uh, that in the future update, in this free update, uh, this new update won't include the new Game Plus mode, but it will include a new feature of making the photo mode a bit better and other stuff. I also heard one complaint that there was, some of them was a bit too hard or a bit too easy. Look, it's a single player game, you're fighting against AI. I just feel like it's stupid to complain about stuff when it comes to single player stuff. If you, I don't know, every time you swing you end up falling through the floor or there's random glitches happening, then go ahead and complain as much as you like. But stuff like this, like Battlefront 2, you're not good. I was able to complete the game, I'm surely you can. You can complete it on either easy to spectacular, so yeah, but the game is really good. Life is Strange 2 launch trailer drops on Thursday and let's say I am nervous. I am. <laughs> I will be buying the game. Uh, it will be only on fiscal unfortunately. They're not 
Uh, sorry, that won't be on physical, it'll be on digital. I wish it was on physical, but it's a shame that they're doing this and hopefully down the line they're able to do a physical version if more sales go. Look, if we're going to keep doing this, I feel like why would we even have Life is Strange games if they don't do physical versions? I understand that in the digital age, downloading Many of us still like to have the physical copies. I just want to share this because this has nothing to do with this, but Skylanders, as you know, has been out of like, the public eye for a long time. But Skylanders Academy Season 3 will be coming back to Netflix. It will be. I don't care about the day. I don't want to tell you that Crash Bandicoot will be returning with Coco. And Coco, believe it or not, is going to be voiced by Tara Strong. So that should be quite nice. I don't watch Skylanders, the show, as you know, is for kids. But they're importing, it looks like they're trying their best to import some stuff from Spyro's past and to see where he was. But again, these kids' shows never explore lore. They never do this, they never do that, because they are so separate they are. Kind of they are, but... Uh, yeah, I heard there was going to be a mobile game coming out this year with Skylanders. That hasn't happened. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this gaming news update. Yeah, things are going crazy, and next week will be crazy. Anyway, peace guys, see ya.